Air quality measurement is only one part in the overall management strategy of air pollution. Enviro Technology sees air quality management as a jigsaw, consisting of three main pieces – air quality monitoring, dispersion modelling and the building of complex emissions databases. Air quality management is therefore an extremely complicated and often resource-hungry process. Since the early 1990s, Enviro Technology has been working with air quality management and meteorological experts worldwide to create and provide systems and tools to simplify the process. This empowers local authorities and industry with the tools and knowledge to enable them to provide answers and possible solutions to today's air pollution challenges. Enviro Technology's air quality management software consists of modular packages that work on a standalone basis or in an integrated suite. They deal with air quality and meteorological data collection, report generation and statistical analysis, dispersion modelling of area, point, line and grid sources, dynamic emissions databases and real-time air quality forecasting. Enviro Technology can provide an air quality management package which couples advanced open path and remote sensing monitoring systems and two and three dimensional meteorological sensors. It enables clients to see what has happened in the past, what is happening right now and more importantly what the air quality will be tomorrow and beyond. Here Phil Govia from the pollution control team at Swansea City Council discusses the innovative approach they have taken to air quality management, which relies on software and equipment supplied by Enviro Technology Services to enable them to achieve their goals. The St Thomas Doas has been in now approximately or seven to eight weeks along a path length of approximately 280 metres. Um, the whole sighting of the station is in response to traffic congestion the site is prone to congestion most times during the day, uh, but mainly early evening and early morning rush hours. Um, as part of our air quality management plan, um, we need to establish what levels um, this area are experiencing already, because as part of the plan we intend to divert traffic from the lower Swansea Valley around the surrounding roads. Now obviously if the levels are quite high existing, um, then we may face problems with part of the action plan for the Lower Harvard area. The whole action plan is to do with um, mitigating the poor air quality within the Lower Valley area, in particular around the Harvard, and part of the plan is to, is to divert traffic um, when conditions are forecast to be poor uh, from the Central Valley corridor to the east side corridor. But again, this, this corridor in, is in itself subject to heavy congestion. So we have to make sure we don't make the situation worse here whilst improving conditions in the uh, lower Swansea Valley. So there is a lot of, de lot of uh, development ongoing around the uh, St Thomas area. The route that we are now monitoring along is one of the primary routes to the new Morva Retail Park and to the new sports stadium, which is going to be the home of Swansea City Football Club and the Ospreys Regional Rugby Club. Uh, in addition, there are plans to hold major pop events at the uh, stadium. So it, it, is, it is a major draw from traffic um, all over Swansea to use this corridor to reach the upper parts of the Swansea Valley.